I got the first uh, three parts done which will cover this side here and the idea is basically it's going to work like this I have a top part which will place it so go this way then the bottom part and all the angles basically have been copied from the existing parts. It was a lot of testing and, and trying, but this is how it's going to be the entire project. So I'm going to clamp it together. And then this part here, I don't know if you can see it, I cut some, uh, some notches into it and I cut the angles so that it's going to fit on the window. And same thing on the other side because you have things like, uh, uh, there's a bit of sun coming in, you have little bits coming off here. So we need to make sure that we can go over it. So basically this is how just one side is gonna be looking like. Uh, I'll be using some glue and close this little gap here and once it's dried I'm going to smooth this completely round and I think that I think once uh, sanded and painted it should take sort of the curves that the Boeing 737 uh, lining does have Well, I don't know if this is luck, but it has an amazing fitting. It, uh, I, I, I barely need to nail it to, to the frame because it's really strong. Of course, if I put pressure, it does come out, but that's, that is the plan. It really feels that it grabs the frame really well. I like the rounding here under and uh, yeah the plan now is to basically do I'm going to do first that part there and um, I'm thinking I do the entire frame first and then last I do the middle post in a, that divides the two windows. This is the middle part. I hope that the camera will focus. Right now, everything is removable. 
it comes out just like that and obviously on the camera it's very hard to to see but it feels extremely smooth it's ready for it to be painted you really don't feel the connection between uh, where the parts are joining uh, I didn't even feel any of it so I'm hoping that when I paint it you don't see those lines anymore now on on the side of course I left it empty because the side with windows will have to connect to, to this all of these parts they are all coming out this is where the bolts will go in Same on the other side. And right now I have it clamped otherwise the window is going to fall but also that bottom will just will just slide out. So what's going to happen next? is uh, I'll start painting, I'll primer them first and then I'll paint them grey and then everything is going to be brought back upstairs and mounted oh yeah and one more thing once they're painted and they are back on the frame here we go so once everything is back and I'm happy how it sits on the cockpit with a nail gun and just put like one two nails just so that they don't move around they they fit pretty snug it's actually really nice I'm, I'm very happy how they came out but just for security a couple of nails and I'll place them uh, hopefully strategically so I'll place them from the front side uh, so that if for whatever reason they need to be moved out I can just knock them at the back and those little nails that will just come off uh, if you put them from the top uh, you cannot slide this out anymore and as far as will it leave a hole well it's it's dark gray and the cockpit once is once you, once you have a, an entire cockpit cockpit closed you, you really it, it's kind of dark you're really not going to see those uh, little holes that the nail will leave. They're very small nails. So this is the plan. Now I'm going to create here in the garage some sort of a Dexter uh, killing room. Uh, otherwise, because I plan to spray paint. Otherwise I'll make everything white. And the wife is not going to be happy about it. Even though it's my garage. So I'll get back to you once I'm done with painting. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the front windows are uh, back, painted. I must say I did expect this covering job to be much more difficult than it was. Yes, it was a slow job because uh, there was a lot of, uh, there were a lot of cutting and testing until each part fitted. But at least uh, I did not, it did not drive me completely insane trying to calculate all the angles. The work itself isn't 100% precise. That is because I'm not Precise. I'm not a precise person, nor is 100% a replica of the 3737, but that also was never my intention. Uh, I do what I can, and uh, as long as it's acceptable for me, then I'm happy. I like how it came out, and it will look better uh, once all the side windows are covered and installed. To paint the windows, I used MDF ground paint with a spray gun, just one coat and then two coats of usual Boeing grey paint uh, done by, by hand with a roller. In the next video I'll be bringing upstairs the side windows, uh, the frames, which I've already made in a previous video. I'll connect them to the side wall um, so I'll know where, precise the, where precisely they need to be fixed. Uh, at which point, once I know everything, I'll take them apart, take everything downstairs again, uh, one side wall and one window at a time, and I'll cover the side windows, uh, at which point everything is going to come back upstairs. So, 
until uh, that point, uh, happy flying and uh, see you soon. Bye.